Well, it's a really not so beautiful morning here on the main coast in January, uh, but I really just needed to get out and shoot today. Uh, it's winter's settled in on us, and at my house in New Hampshire, there's there's a foot or more of snow in the backyard. There's not much going on there, not much to shoot there, and uh, I needed to get out. So I headed over here to, to Kittery, Maine, and um, there's a storm that's kind of passing through, and I wanted to get here early, and you can see the light's still pretty flat, not much to shoot yet. But this, according to the forecast, the, the weather's are supposed to start to break a little bit around midday. I'm thinking it's, it's probably realistically not going to be an epic day for epic landscape photography. But that doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter that you go out and make incredible photos every time you shoot. It only matters that you're doing it. And I'm happiest when I'm photographing. I'm happiest when I'm out here. I'm happy in that moment when I'm creating. And, and I, I'm doing it for me. So this location here on the coast of Maine, it really is, it's like the candy store for photographers. There's so much to shoot here. There's so much to see. There's man-made stuff like the lighthouse and uh, uh, you can see it right there, the, the life-saving station that's that's here. And and then I'm gonna walk around the co the front of the point here in a minute and you'll see there's like just rocks and ocean and it's, it's Maine. And um, it's a great place to shoot. Uh, every time I come here, there's something different to photograph. You, just, you see it differently because the light presents something differently. And, um, and that's why I'm here. That's why I'm taking pictures. It's, it's to be here. And it's why I became a photographer. I became a photographer for this, to be in these places, to spend these moments, to feel that feeling you get when you're actually shooting. And, um, and that's why I'm here. And that's I'm just going to take today and shoot. Well, this is definitely feeling like a day for black and white photography for me, um, which I'm absolutely fine with. There's certainly uh, very little color here. And honestly, I, I almost prefer black and white landscapes. It's, it's where I started as a photographer. And, and um, I think when you have mood and feel and energy and texture like this on a day like today, uh, black and white for me, uh, invites the viewer to, to kind of bring their own interpretation to it. I know that sounds a little kitschy, but for me it's true. It's, um, I'm not trying to hit you over the head with saturated colors, which there are none today. I'm not trying to make you feel a certain thing. I'm just sharing an image in black and white. And um, it's photographic, and I like that. So today, today's definitely feeling like a black and white photo day. Well... I'm still waiting, <laughs> waiting for the clouds, waiting for the light, but uh, to be honest, I'm getting twitchy, so I really need to just get the camera out and start shooting, and there's kind of some uh, cool water, the water moving through the rocks over here, kind of neat, and uh, I'm going to take a look at that and see what we get, you know, that thing about being a landscape photographer, or when you're shooting landscapes, is you can't make it happen. As uh, After 30 years as a commercial photographer, uh, my whole job was to make things happen when I got on set. And uh, you can't do that as a landscape photographer. You just got to be patient. And uh, for people that know me, they know that patience, um, it's not the first word that comes to mind when people describe me. But whatever. So we're going to set up. I have my... Um, my Sony A1 that I'm shooting with today. And the lens I have on there now is 16 to 35. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wanna put a five stop neutral density filter on there because I really like to shoot at slow shutter speeds 
when I'm shooting with the waves and the water and the ocean. It's, it's how I like to show the energy of the ocean is to um, it's shoot a slow shutter speed so that there's, there's a lot of motion in the water. And so for, to do that, I'm going to stop my lens way down. I'm going to set my ISO at 50, which is the lowest I can do on this. I'm going to put on a five-stop neutral density filter and uh, hope that I can get my shutter speed down. It's not very bright out here. Hope I can get my shutter speed down to half a second or, or slower. So um, time to shoot, time to find out. And uh, I'm sick of sitting around waiting. The coffee's working, but I'm not. So it's time to get to work. So first setup of the day, I found the spot where the, as the tide's coming in between these two rocks, it's creating this beautiful movement in the water. And um, it's just this gorgeous shot, this water moving, you can see it coming through now. And I'm shooting with a two second shutter speed, so the, that movement is all fluid. Huh? And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shoot a whole set because the water's changing for every shot. And um, I'll shoot eight or 10 shots and, and really see which one which one works? So here we go. The sun now is sort of really illuminating the clouds and there's this shimmering, silvery, beautiful light uh, dancing across the water here. And uh, that compared with the movement, I, I think it's really beautiful. I, lo I love how, one thing I love about the main coast is how these rocks, these stoic rocks sit here and they're edgy and the, the ocean just has been hammering on these rocks for millions of years. There's our clouds. A little bit of drama in the sky. Well, there you have it. Just like that, in a couple of minutes, the, the clouds just pushed out. The sun is pushing its way through. I sat around, I'll be honest, I sat around all morning complaining about the flat light and I was hopeful. I was just, you're always hopeful when you come out to photograph. I was hopeful for that dramatic sort of clearing storm look with the clouds, but they just kind of quit. They just kind of said, nah, we're leaving. And off they went. And so now the lights went from really flat to just harsh. And um, what are you gonna do? You're out here shooting. Um, the challenge is to find something interesting and shoot, and uh, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm having a great day. I think I got some images I'm really happy with. Um, wind's picking up now. It's like I think we're gonna go. It was only like 35 when I got here, and tonight at my house it's supposed to be below zero. So I can feel the cold air coming in. It's like clouds move, and here comes the sun, and here comes the cold. So I'm gonna do a little more shooting and um, head for home.